It seems to be an almost universal experience when Christians pray that sooner or later they fall into the rut of saying the same old things about the same old things. You don't have to do that very long before, frankly, that's boring. When prayer is boring, you don't feel like praying. If you don't feel like praying, well, it's hard to pray with any consistency, with any fervency. And we tend to feel like second-rate Christians because of that. Well, what's the solution? Well, I would contend it has to be simple. If God invites all of His children all over the world of all ages, all education levels and so forth to do the same thing, namely to pray, it's got to be simple, right? It has to be doable. And so there is a simple, permanent, biblical solution. And here it is. When you pray, pray through a passage of Scripture. Let me illustrate it for you. Let's look together at the 23rd Psalm and let me show you what it would look like to pray the Bible. After my Bible reading, I would turn to the 23rd Psalm and I would begin to pray and it would look something like this. I would read the first verse which says, The Lord is my shepherd. And I might pray something like, Lord, I thank you that you are my shepherd. You're a good shepherd and you've shepherded me all of my life. But oh great shepherd, would you shepherd me through this decision I have to make about my future? Should I make that job change or should I not? Lord, I pray you'd shepherd my family today. Guide them into the ways of God. Guard them from the ways of the world. Lead them not into temptation. Deliver them from evil. And Lord, I pray you would cause my children, my grandchildren, to be your sheep too. May they love you as I do, as their shepherd. And Lord, I pray for our under shepherds at the church. Please shepherd them as they shepherd us. And then when nothing else comes to mind from the first line, you go to the next line, which says, I shall not want. And maybe if I were praying that today, I would say, Lord, I thank you that uh, all my needs are met in you but I know it pleases you that I bring my desires to you. So Lord, would you provide those finances that we need for those bills, for that car, for school? Or maybe I think of someone who is in want and I pray for that person. And then when nothing else comes to mind, I go to the next verse in the 23rd Psalm. He makes me lie down in green pastures. And quite honestly, maybe what comes to my mind is something like, oh Lord, I wish you'd enable me to be able to somehow lie down and take a nap today. Or maybe the idea of green pastures reminds you of the feeding of God's flock in the green pastures of His Word. And so of a teaching ministry that you have or of someone who teaches you the Word of God and you pray for that Bible teacher. When is the last time you've done that? But the text would prompt you to pray for that Bible teacher when you see those words, the green pastures. And then when nothing else comes to mind, you go on. He leads me beside still waters. Lord, do lead me in this decision about my future. I want to do what you want, Lord. That's just unclear to me. What do you want me to do? Lead me. And lead me beside still waters. Quiet the anxious waters in my soul. Maybe quiet the anxious waters in our home or still the waters at work or in some other place where the waters are troubled. And after I've said all that comes to mind on that, I look to the next line. He restores my soul. Lord, please restore to me, you might say, the joy of your salvation. I come to you so spiritually dry today, frankly. So Lord, please restore to me that sense of blessing that can come from you alone. Or maybe you think of some lost person at work or in your family, someone you're trying to share the gospel with, and you pray that God would restore their soul from darkness to light, from death to life. And on and on you would go through this passage until you run out of time or you run out of psalm. If you run out of psalm, just turn the page. Let me challenge you now. Take your Bible for the next five to seven minutes. Continue praying through the 23rd Psalm and further learn how to pray the Bible.